Hello. On behalf of the University of British Columbia, and particularly the Faculty of Medicine, welcome to the second eHealth and Innovative Technology Showcase Conference, or as it's called, eHITS. I'm Gavin Stewart, the Dean of the UBC Faculty of Medicine, and I also have the privilege of being UBC's Vice Provost Health. I apologize that I cannot actually be with you today in person, but I was particularly gratified to hear that this conference drew so many registrants because eHealth has become an increasingly central piece of health service delivery, health planning, and patient and public engagement. I was very impressed by the turnout, but not at all surprised, considering the range of topics to be discussed today, including the impact of giving patients online access to their own lab results, what the Internet of Everything means for healthcare, or how data is being harnessed to fight antimicrobial resistance. But the number of people attending this event is more than just a testament to the program itself. It's also a pretty telling indicator of how many of us are engaged and interested in the technological transformation of healthcare today. Some of the credit for this goes to the uh, province's Ministry of Health, also to the province's health authorities and professional associations like the Doctors of BC, who have been working with educational institutions, including UBC, to build unique partnerships designed to move e-health forward. And some of this credit goes to our partners in industry. You can see tangible evidence of their engagement in the exhibits outside this room. Here at UBC, we're helping to foment change. We're actually embedding e-health into the renewed medical program curriculum that is being launched this fall. Additionally, other health-related units at UBC, including the UBC School of Nursing, and the Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences are increasingly integrating e-health and health informatics training into their curricula and into professional programming. And of course, there is Kendall Ho and the e-health strategy office, which has been leading the charge for so many years now and clearly making a lot of headway. But in the end, today's turnout is a testament to all of you for being willing to embrace the new and to lead others along this pathway. I have personally become a convert to the promise of e-health, especially as I travel around the province in my role as Dean. Not too long ago, I was given the privilege of observing a remote consultation between a lung cancer patient in Terrace with his oncologist at the BC Cancer Agency in Vancouver. As they went over his imaging studies that had been done previously in Prince George, the man was surrounded by his family, who actually asked the specialist particular questions not at all inhibited by the fact that they were on camera. The main question at hand was whether there was any value to traveling down to Vancouver, and the answer actually was no. The treatment he needed could be done in Terrace. But I was particularly struck by the efficiency of this particular encounter. This man was able to make use of the specialized expertise this province has to offer while in the presence of his family's support and without having to exhaust himself with what for him would have been a rather arduous journey to the Lower Mainland. It was truly liberating for all of them, including the patient and his family. And this is just one of the many ways that eHealth is remaking the landscape of patient care. At the other end of this spectrum, I've also been impressed by the increasing potential of handheld devices to help patients take charge of their own health. And then somewhere in between, there are electronic medical records in a couple of months here at UBC, there will be an announcement of a first-of-its-kind pilot study of a new EMR platform, one that relies partly on an analysis of the patient's genes to deliver an instantaneous drug and dosage recommendation to family practitioners. This is a project that has the potential to dramatically reduce adverse drug events and to reduce the use of drugs that simply are ineffective for any given patient. It's the kind of project that eHealth is all about gaining control of the terabytes of medical information that are out there for the taking, if only we knew how to organize it and deliver it in a way that works for busy healthcare professionals. This conference is a great opportunity for all of us to share these and other developments in eHealth so that we can actually work together as healthcare professionals, health policy makers, and health system administrators, together with industry experts and trainees, to speed its adoption here in British Columbia. So welcome to eHITS and to UBC. I hope you find the conference useful, enlightening, 
and maybe even a little bit revolutionary. Thanks very much.